This video is about solving rational equation and um, checking the uh, potential answers for being extraneous solutions. So we'll just jump right into the problem. Here is a rational equation. 3x over x minus 2 minus 6 over x equals 6 over x minus 2. Um, a method that we have talked about previously in solving this equation would be to look at the denominators of these various fractions and figure out what the least common denominator is. In this case that would be x times x minus 2. The next step in this method of solution is to take each term throughout the equation and multiply by the LCD x x minus 2 minus 6 over x times x times x minus 2 uh, that's a little sloppy so we'll fix it equals 6 over x minus 2 times x times x minus 2. Now the point behind using this LCD method is that by properly canceling factors throughout the equation you can eliminate all of the fractional terms. So this first term would then be 3x times x or 3x squared. And then next we have negative 6 times x minus 2. Now don't forget that you have to distribute both the 6 and the minus in front of the 6 onto each of these two terms yielding negative 6 times x or negative 6x and also negative 6 times negative 2 or plus 12 equals on the right hand side 6x. Now once again as is often the case we have a quadratic equation so let's get all of this terms to the same side of the equation subtract 6x and subtract 6x yielding minus 12x plus 12 there's our zero. Um, factoring would be a good choice here, but it'll be a lot easier to factor if you recognize that each of these three terms, 3x squared minus 12x plus 12, has as a common factor 3. Now, we can take 3, divide it from each of these terms, and write it out in front as a um, factor. So 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And then proceed into factoring this quadratic expression, x times x. And we'd realize that each of these two factors is identical, x minus 2, x minus 2, yielding only one possible answer x equals 2. Now remember the whole point of this video is to illustrate that even though we have followed proper algebraic procedures the the process algebraically has introduced uh, an answer and we need to check this answer and in this case by looking back to the equation we can see that this specific answer when we substitute it in for x throughout the equation will yield a couple terms in which we are attempting to here divide by zero and here also divide by zero. So this one potential answer x equals 2 we have to cross it off. There are no other alternatives so this particular problem has no solution and we write this symbol to mean no solution.